Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're gonna continue with the Talos Principle Chambers made by this guy. This chamber is way harder than it looks. You need to think around corners quite literally. Have fun solving this test chamber. I hope we do, and hopefully we can get multiple chest chambers into a single episode. Okay, in traditional style, we will play in two or three times speed, depending on what we're doing at the time. Alright, that there, and that does... only half the job. Alright, so we need to go here first. Wow, this is... Oh, wow! Why is there... What else opens this? I know how to get the cubes out of there. Sneaky, sneaky. Wow, this is... What a... Wow. Oh! Okay. Oh, wait, we can do that now. I thought I had to wait, but nope. We can do it now. Oh my gosh. Please, just... do that. Thank you. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, that's one cube stolen. And now we gotta get this guy in there. And we've stolen the other cube! Now we can respawn both of them. So we'll respawn this guy. And... where did that cube come from? Over here. Alright. Save there. What are we gonna do next? Interesting. Let's, uh, not worry about that right this second. Let's put this guy back here. Are you kidding me? This game, this game, it's so buggy! Alright. Whatever, I'll take this. I'll point it right along. Come on. There. Hey, now we get another cube. What exactly does that do? Oh, interesting. Ooh, don't, 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 don't kill me, please. Alright. Save. Okay, what do we gotta do? That, that's right, that's right. That was the entire point of this exercise. Getting the laser here. And it's another cube. Which... we will do what with? If you do that, it'll power itself, right? And then we can take this away, right? Yeah! It's a bootstrap puzzle! Alright. But we still need this. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put this cube on the very edge. Like that. And then we can take it over here. To here. And to... To 
there. Ta-da! Well, guys, we are going to continue playing this in the same episode. Let's see. I like that one a lot. That is really cool. Favorite? As I mute my phone, we'll go on to the next. Phone muted. Yes, yes, I know AMD is playing Battlefield 4. Okay. Let's see. This does a bunch of things. That's two lasers. I'll tell you what, these are some of the best puzzles I've played in a long time. For how simple they are, and how flat they are, and for their lack of portal surfaces. These are the best puzzles without portals that I've played, I should say. What's this fizzler for? Just do this, right? Oh dear. Uh <laughs> I do believe I have trapped myself. That is a trapping situation, which I'm not too fond of. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> Alright. So I think what we really want to do is maybe borrow one of the other lasers, perhaps? There we go. So if you stay bootstrapped, that would be very helpful. Alright. We've got more cubes! Cubes all day long! for days. Oh my gosh, so many cubes. When will it end? What have I done? Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Is this... Is this what I think it is? Oh, well I... Oh no, I didn't do this one right! But it's supposed to spill out something. I think it's like the, uh... There's a puzzle in the Talos Principle that when you solve it correctly, it spells out Nexus. And I think that is one of my all-time favorite puzzles. 
But, yeah, I... Because of the way I did things, I didn't get it to do it right. Oh well. Still a really cool puzzle. Let's see here... I'm gonna add that to my favorites. Next. Okay, so this cube is in the way. The laser. Let's see. So that turns on a laser. Cube on button there. And then there's actually not much of interest in here. Ah, uh, this is a buzzer. I see. Okay, so this cube is not really all that useful to us just yet. Hey! It works! Just like in the Talos Principle. Just on the other opposite side that you actually want to jam it on. Oh, hello. What does this do? Oh, maybe I'm not actually supposed to do it this way. In which case, oops. Well, I can always respawn that cube, right? Yeah. Okay, so clearly I'm not meant to go there just yet. Or there. How about here? Hey, there's somewhere. That's somewhere I can go. And then this will likely work for yeah. If I can just position this at one time speed. There we go. Save. We will continue on at two times speed, and unlike the three times speed that we were at before. Alright. <laughs> I just walk through the laser. No biggie. Just, you know, I walk through lasers all the time. Hey! Exactly. Okay, now the question is how to utilize this for best effect. Now is the time that I can jam it. So let's just try that for now. And then... Put this here. And then we can recall the cube. Oh, I feel really dumb. I was supposed to do it the Talos Principle way by having a laser on both sides so that it's activated. Ah, uh, well, at least I can show that now that I understand it. So let me swap these out real quick. But I at least want to show off what the intended solution is. Because 
generally in the Talos Principle Hole, you would do stuff like this, and I always found ways to avoid doing that, but this is what the intended solution is. You see how it's always powered, even though one of them is always blocked at a time? Yeah, that's the intended solution. But, alas, I have a knack for doing things very much not the intended way. Here. And then get you. Save. Turret's been taken care of. Now what? Actually, I want to move that guy. We don't need this laser anymore. You only need the primary laser. And then whatever is down there will need a laser, I guarantee it. The exit! Actually... oh... Oh, oh, yeah, that's real simple then. Simple as that. Well, it looks like we have time for one more puzzle. I wanna add this to my favorites. It's pretty crazy that some of my favorite maps so far have been the ones without portals. <laughs> Alright, next. Alright, let's get a lay of the land in this one. We've got this cube. This does... a funnel? Interesting. And you need multiple cubes. Alright. What does that do? This opens this area. We can't do anything with that right now. At least not to my knowledge. So if we do that, right? But we still need this and this. Ooh, that's... That's a bit of an issue. Am I missing something? What, how do we... How do we get in here? Oh! Just shine the laser through the glass. Don't, don't do that. There we go. So now... We can do... this? Kinda? Maybe? Oh no 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 no, we do this first. Oh, I bet... Ah, I bet we can do this now, actually. I'm getting ahead of myself. Wait, no, but... We need another cube in order to do that. Is there something over here? No, 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 that's just where I got... Yeah. What, what about... Can I do this at all yet? Haunting me. Look at that. I must be missing something obvious. Because that only turns on 
when we have something in there. You know what, I feel really dumb now. <laughs> Put the freaking laser cube on this button! Duh. Where did I get that? There we go. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> wow. There we go. Hey, we got it. Alright. Let's get these out of here. Alright. Save! Now we can do this. I'm guessing it's gonna get us a laser cube so that we can do that. Okay, one time speed. There we go. One time speed, like a pro. There we go! This is making sense now! Actually, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Okay. How many cubes stackage do we need? Uh, one, two, maybe all, all of them. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out what this cube does. Okay, so we do need two cubes, and then this. Yes, and that's the exit. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, after I favorite this.